This is the 3DFX Velocity 100. It's a card that's made by 3DFX and it supports Glide, but it is not a Voodoo card. In fact, it's cheaper. Let's take a look. So as we all know, 3DFX Voodoo cards are highly sought after. Back in the late 90s, they offered a big leap in 3D performance and thanks to the Glide API, they became the gold standard for gaming graphics. Even today, a lot of DOS and Windows games work best on the Voodoo. And this is where we get to the problem. It's price. Taking a look through eBay, these cards are getting expensive. We're averaging way over $100, and some of these cards go for $300 or even $400+. Plus. This is where our velocity comes in. This card was built for the OEM market, and compared to the branded Voodoo cards, it stayed completely off the radar. Like I mentioned earlier, it still supports Glide, and it has pretty much the same feature set to the full Voodoo 3. And if I look on eBay for these, the prices are much more reasonable. We have this card for $119, this one for $117, and I pick mine up for $99. So is this some kind of remarkable bargain? Well, if I put this side by side with a real Voodoo 3 card, you can see it looks remarkably similar. It's got the same heat sink and memory arrangement. It's got the BIOS chip in the same place. In fact, if I saw one of these without the other, I'm not sure I could tell the difference. But the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. So let's get this plugged in and powered up. Okay, let's do a quick glide test. We'll use the donut demo. Looking good. Okay. And a Direct3D check with DX Diag. The cube. So the GPU is working well. Taking a look in PowerStrip, we can see that the card is recognized as a Voodoo 3, albeit with half the RAM at eight megabytes. In the performance tab, we can see that it's got the exact same clocks as a Voodoo 3 2000 at 143.2 megahertz. Whilst we're here, let's turn off VSync because we're about to do some benchmarks. Okay, looking at the results, at 640 by 480, we've got around 6200 in 3D Mark and nearly 60 frames per second in Unreal and Quake 2. Looking at 800 by 600, we've got 5,500 in 3D Mark and around 40 frames per second in Unreal and Quake 2. And lastly, at 1024 by 768, we're looking at 2,800 in 3D Mark and around 30 frames per second in Unreal and Quake. If we compare this to the Voodoo 3 2000, this is where things get interesting. So in 3D Mark, the velocity is very competitive. In fact, at 640 by 480, it actually outperforms the Voodoo 3. But in Unreal and Quake, the Voodoo is way ahead. It's almost double the frame rate. So what does this mean? Well, after a bit of research, it comes down to the texture mapping units, or TMUs. These are dedicated graphics chips that prepare and render textures. And when it comes to 3D performance, the more TMUs you have, the better. The Voodoo 3 has two, allowing it to draw two textures per cycle. By comparison, the velocity is advertised as having only one. But, and here's the secret, the velocity also has two TMUs. In Direct3D, our velocity is running at full power with both TMUs. But in Glide and OpenGL, the second TMU on the velocity is disabled, and it leaves us with half the graphics power and a big performance deficit versus the Voodoo. 
So is there a way to turn up the power in Glide and OpenGL2? Well, it turns out there is. If we go to the registry and navigate to HKey Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Services, Class, Display, 000, and Glide, and we add a new value. So new string value, FX Glide, num tmu and we set it equal to two this should give us a boost let's give it a try okay we're now at 125 frames per second versus the 58 or so we had before more than double Glide also sees a massive boost with Unreal now averaging 95 frames per second versus the 57 from before. Looking across all resolutions, this now puts the velocity ahead of the Voodoo 3 at 640x480 and 800x600, with performance only dropping off a bit once we hit higher resolutions and probably starting to get a bit VRAM starved with the 8 megabytes. Overall, the velocity is starting to look like a real bargain. But there's one more thing to try, DOS games. So we're in DOS and we have the Tomb Raider 3DFX patch ready to go. So Tomb Rush. Okay, so this looks good, and it's proven. The velocity does it all. Right, closing thoughts. For me, this was a great way to pick up another Voodoo 3 card at a great price. The Velocity 100 has the same clocks, the same silicon and features as a real Voodoo 3. It might have a bit less RAM, but in gaming performance, it's almost identical and sometimes better than a Voodoo 3. If you see one of these on eBay or elsewhere, I can strongly recommend it. And as always, comments and questions down below. Enjoy!